it's media day. I do about a media day a week. Love media day. Love hanging out with Pastor Austin. He's a, a media genius. Uh, we're going to do some uh, videos for the Ignite Network today. We're going to do a Facebook Live today. Uh, I don't know what else we're going to do, but we're going to have a good time. We love media day. It's so much fun. So come and join me on the inside. Uh, you might see a few bloopers. You'll see some behind the scenes stuff, how we bring it all together. You might get a sneak peek of something that uh, it might really bless you. So come on in. Take two, tongue tied, take three. You know, Pastor Austin, we always got to make time for coffee, brother. We always got to make time for coffee. We worked hard. We did like 17 videos, didn't we? Yeah, like, something like that. Yeah, like 17, we did 17 videos. We have deserved a cup of Joe. We've deserved Starbucks. We've earned it. So, and you never know who you're going to meet in the coffee shop. <laughs> I was, we're just, I was just sitting here talking to Pastor Austin, and, um, and she came up and sat down. We were talking about prophecy, and, and, and what did you ask me? I said, do you love Jesus? Do you love Jesus? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, she's, she, 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 I could see the fire in her eyes, but, you know, are you here? What are you doing? Um, I actually came to work on my wedding invitation. <laughs> You're getting married. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. my gosh. Yeah, I just got engaged um, March the 31st. So you're the manager at a halfway house. Yeah, assistant manager. Assistant manager, and God brought you out of that life of addiction. You're telling me the story, I just, tell me a little bit about it. Well, I lived here in Fort Lauderdale in 2012. I came down here from Chattanooga, Tennessee to get, um, just to do 12 steps to work the recovery yeah. program. And um, I kept relapsing, and like I grew up as a Christian, but I didn't know what it was like to have a personal relationship with Jesus. Yeah. And so I was okay for a while, but it just ultimately it broke my heart and it took me back out. And I started using heroin and shooting wow. up heroin. And wow. so um, I did that for about a month and, and God just completely just transformed me and He um, released me from the addiction of drugs and alcohol. Have you ever received a prophecy? Anybody ever given you a prophetic word? I mean, not specifically, no. Well, I'm about to give you a prophetic word. Okay. Do you believe that God speaks to people today? Yeah. He speaks to you, right? Yeah. Uh, when the Lord showed me as you were sitting there, that you're being raised up like a Timothy under a Paul. And even though right now you're serving someone else's vision, the Lord says to you, I have given you your own vision, and I'm going to expand your territory, and what you suffered is going to be for the betterment of many other people. The Lord is showing me that you're going to end up having your own ministry, help, helping women heal from abuses of the past, from tragedies of the past. He's going to give you the funding. He's already given you the anointing. And you're being raised up right now for His glory. So in this time, Lord says, just suck up and soak up everything you can find because God's going to put you in a position of authority. And I, I just see just woman after woman after woman getting saved, healed, delivered, and set free under your ministry. I just want to encourage you, you know, you have a voice, you have a platform, you have a sphere of influence. One voice makes a difference. So you know what? Whatever you're doing, blog, vlog, get on Facebook, share the truth that's in your heart. You're reaching somebody and making a difference. You know, one voice can make a difference. So you know, you might see me on Facebook and you know, well, I've got over 400,000 followers. You're like, maybe I only have a thousand. You know what? You have a sphere of influence. I believe if Jesus were alive today, he would be tweeting, he would be periscoping, he would be Facebook living. The Apostle Paul would, would be on uh, Snapchat, I'm telling you. John the Beloved would be on Marco Polo. You know what? Use the media to your advantage. God will use every little bit of truth he can to reach a lost and dying world. So go for it. You have a voice. I want to encourage you in that today.